What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe, y'all. So the Shiba Inu team is finally giving us a response to the burn. So I haven't checked this article. I wanted to check it out fresh with y'all. So the Shiba Inu team identifies crucial factor for increased she burns. Hopefully, you know, the team is telling us, you know, the factor for the increased she burns is the dial so the community can vote on it. But we're going to see. So run those likes up, man. Let's get this video to 1500 likes if y'all rocking with me. I know a lot of y'all aren't happy with Shiba Inu right now, but don't take that out on me, man. Still smash the like button. I'm still here each and every day bringing the Shiba Inu army information, updating everybody, trying to keep people motivated. Obviously, you know, I can't tell you to buy, sell, or hold, and this is not financial advice, but I can try to provide a little motivation out there for those that might could use it, you know? Think about it. Even if you don't need it, there's somebody in the Sheep Army that does appreciate hearing these updates and seeing someone show up each and every day, you know, who's still bullish on the project. So Shiba Inu team identifies crucial factor for increased Sheep burns. In a recent post on X, Lucy, a marketing specialist for the Shiba Inu project, highlighted a crucial factor that could significantly impact the future of Sheep token burns. So let's see, y'all. Lucy emphasized the importance of adopting Shibirium, the layer two network designed for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. According to her, embracing Shibirium is the key to unlocking increased Sheep burns. So, of course, I figured this is what they would say. We would hope they would, you know, mention this DAO where we could just vote as a community. You know, this is a community project. And obviously, the dev does control their utilities. But y'all got to remember, as a community, this is our project. So if there's something we want to see done for Shiba Inu, there's nothing stopping you from building it yourself. Shiba Inu is decentralized. So you can build something directly that benefits Shiba Inu and get the community to support it. And if y'all got something that's really dope, I'll support it on the channel, you know, to bring more awareness to it. So just reach out to me and let me know what ideas y'all have. We will be doing a live stream after this, so make sure y'all got notifications on so you do not miss this live stream. We're going to be talking about, you know, how does the community feel about Shiba Inu right now? What does the community feel should be being done? So let's take a look at this. So here's a screenshot right there. Uh, we talked about this screenshot from Discord where Shatoshi says uh, Shatoshi sat with Cal and figured it would cost billions basically to increase the price. So they have to implement a plan to be able to burn billions of dollars of Shiba Inu. And that's what Shibirium was supposed to do. Now, it is still very early. I haven't made a judgment on Shibirium just yet because we've heard that the taxation or the burn rate should be inflationary. Basically, the more bone tokens locked up on Shibirium, the higher the transaction fee and the burn rate uh, will be so we got to see how this all plays out if you have more information you know feel free to share it in the comment section we got the whole community that reads the comments i reply to the comments as well so you know drop something down there if you got some news we could use so the adoption of shibirium translates to more transactions taking place on the network with higher adoption naturally comes higher traffic and this surge in network activity brings about increased transaction fees so notably shibirium is committed to allocating a substantial 70 percent of its base transaction fee for shiba inu burns the team has revealed how the network will realize this but Lucy noted they would shed more light in an upcoming documentation. Lucy also stressed that the last time Shiba Inu skyrocketed astronomically, it did that without any burns. She also emphasized that the asset had not commanded as much adoption as it does now. So think about it. When Shiba Inu did hit its all-time high, it was one, during a bull market. Uh, two, it did not have any burns, significant burns, except for the one that took place with Vitalik, but it was already moving. It already had a major breakout before that one. And, you know, uh, three, we didn't have Shibirium out. You know, so we got a few new factors that could lean in favor of Shiba Inu during this next bull run. I'm at the point right now, y'all, because I'm seeing so many people get frustrated. I, I, I'm just going to just start telling y'all, you know, just look for the future. Look or look towards the future, y'all. Don't worry about the right now price of Shiba Inu. That's the best thing I could tell y'all. Right now, prices are cheap in the market. It is a time to be accumulating. This happens every single time. There's a bear market. When the bear market extends a little too long, people get bearish. They start to FUD. They start to sell their tokens. And if that's what you want to do, that's perfectly fine. You got the right to do that. But I'm telling you, if you're someone who's just unsure of what's taking place, don't get tricked out of your spot. The bull market will return. If you don't like your average cost of Shiba Inu right now, you can dollar cost average to bring your overall cost down. So that way, when the price starts to rise, you break even a lot sooner and becoming profit a lot sooner so you know just be patient if you can't afford to continue to accumulate more in your bag sizes or or your bag sizes where you want it just be patient now i recommend some of those who are frustrated because they can't take advantage 
of these market prices right now. That's what I think a lot of it is, too. People are low on funds, so they're not able to look at this as a buying opportunity because a lot of people don't have the funds to buy. This means that you should be looking for outside sources of income, whether you have to get a, a, a second job, you know, start a side hustle, you know, something, you know, do something to increase your streams of income. So that way you can feel confident about this time. You'll be happy knowing that you have the money to continue to buy Shibi Inu while it's cheap. And when it goes up, I'm telling you, it's going to be life changing stories. So uh, considering Shiba Inu's growth over the past three years and the prospects of increased burns from greater adoption of Shibirim, Lucy believes the next all time high could be interesting. So a potential, a potential dilemma. However, while this development seems promising for Shib token holders, and the overall Shiba Inu ecosystem, it does it does introduce a potential dilemma. The dilemma arises because higher gas fees paradoxically reduce interest in the network. Shibirin was initially conceived as a solution to alleviate the exorbitant exorbitant gas fees on the Ethereum network for the ecosystem. If Shiba if Shibirin also starts witnessing higher fees due to its its own success, it might seem counterproductive and defeat its initial purpose. So I doubt that the Shibirium fees, even if they did start to rise, would get anywhere near as high as the Ethereum fees. So because of that, I think people wouldn't really care about it. If Ethereum fees go up to multiple hundreds and Shiba Inu's fees are at like $10 or Shiba, Shibirium's fees are at like $10, that's still a better option. So if Shibirium also starts witnessing higher fees due to its own success, it might seem counterproductive and defeat its initial purpose. As a result, a balanced approach to the situation is necessary. The community should hope for Shabirim's continued success while they recognize, while also recognizing the challenges it might face. The prospect of higher fees is a testament to the network's growing popularity and utility, but it also demands careful consideration from the developers. To address this dilemma, the Shabirim development team must remain proactive. So that's all we got for this article. It's, you know, I do agree, you know, the number one thing is adoption rate. And it is true, you know, it can be counterproductive. If we raise the burn rate too high, nobody might want to use it. I don't think, you know, it's going to be too high where people won't want to use it, but, you know, that's something that we do have to keep in mind. There's other cheaper solutions out there, you know, uh, compared to Ethereum. There's Polygon, you know, uh, you know, there's... Uh, there's a ton of different, you know, Algorand. There's other chains that people can use, a Solana, you know, if they want to. So, you know, just keep that in mind. We want those fees to be competitive with these other chains, but also possibly a little lower. So Shabirim keeps that edge. So uh, that's all we got for this one, man. We will be live. Let's talk about it, you know, together as a community. I'm interested in seeing y'all feedback. Appreciate everybody for pulling up. Check the links in the description section of this video. Even if you got family member who aren't started in cryptocurrency yet, tell them about my videos. All my videos have a link in the description section for free stocks and crypto. Y'all should really be taking advantage of this because it's absolutely free. A free asset that you, you're basically getting free money. You know, so check the book. It is now on Amazon as well. You can cop the physical edition. And also check out the Shiba Inu merch store as well. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out.